channel. I'm coming at you today with a doozy of a video. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be my spring edit. So I did this back in the fall time. I didn't really do it in the winter because fall and winter, I just kind of like do the same kind of thing. But Mama has a little bit of everything for you guys today. So I'm just gonna do it kind of like an order, in order, the order that I made up in my head. So first and foremost, sunscreen. Not that we don't need to be using this, you know, winter and spring and summer, but I think it comes to a lot of people's attention this time of year. You guys already know I love the Kula. I live, breathe the Kula. Awesome, awesome sunscreen. That is the rose one. It has a very, very slight tint. Not even like a tinted moisturizer, I would say, but still nice to wear underneath of makeup and it's a really good base for makeup as well. And then something I love from Hint Beauty because it could be used, it's meant to be a base as well, it's called Sun Prep. So it's kind of like a serum. Here, I could try to like pump it on the back of my hands. So it kind of just looks like like scary sunscreen. But when you rub it in, it doesn't leave that thick white cast. It really just kind of feels like a nice serum. And this has SPF 30, so it is meant to sit underneath makeup. It is gorgeous. I love it. Both of those are fantastic choices. If you don't already have one, highly recommend one of them. I think the hint's really cool because it's meant to sit under makeup and it really like goes down to nothing. It's awesome. And then some face products, of course. Gonna quickly mention this one because I've already mentioned this in a favorites video of mine. This is the Vapor Instant Skin Perfector in 902. It's just this big white stick, basically. Really good for keeping makeup on the face a little bit longer. You know, in the sun, it kind of slips and slides. It also makes application super easy because to me, spring and summer stuff is all about it just being easy, especially living in Florida. Like, your face will melt off of your head. Like. That's not gonna happen. It will melt off, girl. Even though you know I still go out in the summertime like this. I just have an umbrella to block me. Just kidding, but really. Um, <laughs> that stuff is awesome, and it really just makes a smooth canvas. So check that one out. I spoke about it already in my favorites. And some bronzer options. I love bronzer. My name is Ashley, and I'm a bronzer holic. And the sooner you admit it, the sooner the better. So I have both a cream option and a powder option. One is by Hint Beauty, another one that was mentioned in my favorites. This is the Solaire Bronzing Powder. Now I love this because the tone I think is gorgeous. I like to apply it with a, the big Lexi Luxy brush that I mentioned to you guys as well. And it just instantly warms up the face. It is a very warm tone bronzer. I think warm tone bronzers suit me the best. I do not contour with it. I just do it like an all over bronze. And then something that's just again, quick, easy, simple. This is the Vapor Solar Translucent, Translucent Bronzer in Mirage. And I just, I'm gonna swatch this really quickly for you guys. I love this because you can see the tone, really light and easy. So if you're super fair, this would be absolutely awesome for you. The formulation of their cream though is just a dream. It will blend to the point that you need it to and then it will set and it won't like completely fall off your face. Um, and then you could always hit that with a little bronzer too to set it just because we really need some some help here in Florida and keeping the makeup on your face. But that formulation is just to die for. I didn't think I was gonna like that light of a shade but I really do especially if I was doing a no makeup makeup kind of look throw on some a little foundation or concealer that bronzer and then some mascara and brows boom and then I have two cheek products um you guys I've mentioned this before this is La Bella Figura's Disco Queen Gloria so this is like uh, a cream blush but it's, it's very highlighty so it's just kind of like an all-in-one kind of thing La Bella Figura has some of the best ingredients on the market they really are just gorgeous here, I'm just trying to swatch that out for you guys. You can see that right here. It's kind of similar in tone to that. It's quite warm. I would describe it as kind of like a rosy gold that leans a little bit more pink. Uh, it is beautiful. This, I just like to do this. I skip, like this is just blush and highlight in one. Again, I like it to reduce steps, but I'll probably add more highlighter on top of this. I am obsessed with this product. I like the other colors as well, but this one is the standout, and I think on a darker complexion, it would be the most beautiful face highlight. 
And then speaking of facial highlights, what do I have here? Why yes, that is a little RMS Beauty glass jar and inside is the Master Mixer. So the Master Mixer is a brand new product from RMS Beauty. I picked mine up on Beautylish. Gotta love Beautylish. Free shipping over 35. But this is like their golden version of the Living Luminizer. So I prefer this. Can you believe it? I didn't think I did it first. I didn't think I was sold. They recommend it to, to use on your eyes and your cheeks and your lips. I really only like it for the cheeks. Uh, the coconut oil on their products, it will not stay around on your eyes. And I, if it lasts on you, how do you get it to last? How? Are your eyelids like, I don't know. Um, I don't really know how they could get away with that. I tried one of their other colors, it didn't really work for me. But this is beautiful. I swear to God, I could be wearing no makeup and I would want to tap it on. I'm wearing it today, if you guys could see it. I would want to tap it on. You are going to look like a fresh and healthy, glowing goddess. This is, some, this is Victoria's Secret. This little product, hi Victoria's Secret, nice to meet you. I'm so happy we could buy you. I don't have a body like that though. That, that would cost a little bit more. So definitely, I'm gonna do an entire video on the RMS um, Master Mixer, but just know it's the shiz. And then let's do some eye products, shall we? Shall we, shall we? A staple for me is a nude liner. You guys know I was using the uh, Zwi Concealer Stick because I couldn't find any green liners. I know Pacifica has one, green nude liners. Um, not the color green, hee hee hee. I know Pacifica has a nude one that I hear good things about, but Terry Mia Hero raved about these liners. I was like, okay, great, I'm gonna get that one stat. It is just amazing. Um, perfect tone, you probably can't even see it, it kind of matches my skin. Just makes the eyes look really fresh and awake, and I'm somebody who likes to really, really, really smoke out that lower lash line. So adding that, that contrast is just beautiful, but if you just, your eyes are red, helps reduce redness, helps me make look, helps make look more awake. I'm talking like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like how he writes. Am I right, ladies? Anyway. That liner is amazing, and nude is a total staple. If you guys wanted to, you guys were, you always liked when I was wearing nude liner, that's the one I've been wearing for the past couple of months, honestly. And then I have some shadow options, of course. I'm gonna start with two cream ones. These are the Vapor Mesmerize eye colors. And I have Firefly and Ace. Firefly is just a shimmery, warm, it's very, very shimmery. So if you don't like shimmer, it's not gonna be the one for you. Um, very, very shimmery, golden, yeah, just golden, orangey kind of shade. It's really, really pretty. One that would suit everybody. Good base for a lot of eye looks. Like, even if you take this, you take the Hint Beauty bronzer in the crease, that's an eye look done. And then Ace is like this kind of purpley shade. It's not the most spring shade in the world, but I like to use this as a base. Um... I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Naive. If you're watching, I think this might be your MAC Paint Pot dupe. It has that, that consistency and enough color. So, just so you know, those are fantastic. Obviously they last longer if you set them with a cream, but they don't crease in two seconds. So I really appreciate that. And then I have one right here from Red Apple Lipstick. This is Iced Mocha. Iced Mocha is just a beautiful, fresh shade for the lid. I like this for a smoky eye. I like this as a one and done eyeshadow look. It's just a frosty, pinky purple. It just looks gorgeous, fresh and clean. That's the kind of thing that I go for in the spring and summertime. Ignore the look I have on today. I'm filming. I could be glamour. And then two more eyeshadows. Oh my God, I'm just an eyeshadow addict. Eyeshadow addict over here. I, have, I haven't mentioned these to you guys, but these are by Au Naturel. This is Peony and Mojave. Peony is like nice and pinky, like a slight bit of peach, and Mojave I am wearing on my eyelids today. Purple, I think with like a subtle hint of gold. Very, very inch, unique, bold eyeshadows. I love the formulation. I love the colors, these two in particular. If you guys want me to swatch the other shades, I have quite a few, I'd be happy to do that for you. But um, I'm not big into Au Naturel, a lot, I'm sorry, but a lot of their products, I mean, I don't think any of their other products, I'm gonna be 100% with you guys right now, have really blown me away. I, I like them, some I like, but am I, would I choose them over anything else? No, but those shadows are noteworthy. 
And then let's wrap this up with some lip products. Again, for the lips. I'm not wrapped. I'm not done yet, but you know how it is. Um, for lip products, something easy, throw in the purse, goes with anything, and then a bold lip option, of course, because spring and summer is when we can really play around with that. So I have another product from Fairy Organics. You guys know I mentioned their Sun Kiss Blush in my favorites video. This is one of their, like, juicy tubes. Like, classic old school kind of gloss but I really do like this packaging and this color is just a good topper color or just this will make your lips look wet plump you guys I'm gonna do it up close watch but you could see that reflection if you want your lips to look large and in charge baby this is the one. Oh, I totally forgot to mention the color this is sugared peach so it doesn't have very much color it definitely does have a little subtle um, veining of peach through it that I could totally pick up on and lots of pretty glitter but not like uh, I just went to the craft store and stuck my face in a in a bin of glitter just very pretty catches the light gorgeously I love it and then you guys already know I love me some Luca Cosmetics lip glazes these are the best unfortunately they are not vegan but if you're not vegan these are amazing this is the color Allure again Luca, well, why am I saying again? Never mention this. Has the perfect amount of pigment, and this is just one of those mid tone, not quite mid tone. I guess it's lighter. It's like a light pink nude. Oh my god. Again, I'm gonna always swatch these for you guys so you can see. That one is just a cream formulation. It kind of looks like it has shimmer in it when you look at it in the tube, but it does not transfer onto my hands. Again, one of those colors that makes your lips look big and juicy. It is so gorgeous. I can't even stand it. And yeah, the formulation on those is so good. They hang around for a really nice amount of time for a lip gloss. And then I have a Root Pretty Balm. You guys would have already seen that I mentioned this in my top products under uh, $20. This is an $8. This is $8. has subtle color. It's a balm. One of the only lip products that will actually hydrate my lips and it sticks around for a long time. It's not one of those that like your lips just totally drink up, which I appreciate so much. So they have a variety of shades. This is in the shade Paris and I love her. I think I was calling her a different color for a little bit. So excuse that. And for my bold lip option, it's got to be red apple lipstick, right? Who else? Um, I'm really excited for their spring and summer collection. Can we talk about that? Their collection last year, oh my, I'm still not over it. I still love it. This was in that collection. This is Firecracker. And if you guys know Makeup TIA on here, I know you do, Ashley. Um, she loves Firecracker as well. She's a redhead, looks gorgeous on her. It is just the perfect, oh my God, it's so big, but it's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna do an up close swatch, but it's just a burnt orange. Yeah, just a true burnt orange. It is so good if i want to wear a bold lip and i don't quite know what i want to wear that's the one so that is it for makeup products but moving on to i got some body i got one hair so let's just jump into the hair and then i have um one skincare thing as well this you want beachy waves you want beachy waves hi hello beachy waves in a bottle this is the you can see how much i've used that really is a lot because i i don't use this every day um, this is the Flourish Patchouli Tangerine and Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I'm pretty sure Susie from Girl Gone Green loves this as well. If you guys saw my blog post, I mentioned that I love this product. If you saw my hair care routine from a while back, I mentioned that I love this product. This product is fabulous. Like I said, instantly just gives you a little something something. I'm going to spritz some now. You just instantly get a little va-va-voom. And I love big hair. I like big, messy hair year-round. So you guys need to try this. And it smells like the beach, obviously, because the salt. So what more could a girl ask for? And since we are getting the pins out, we're getting the pins out. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing socks and shorts, people. It's not all glamour. Um, I have a new body scrub, love. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm always mentioning body scrubs. But the gorgeous Katie from Naturella Beauty. I swear to God, I have such amazing friends in this community. I am just spoiled with gifts, I feel like. She gifted me this little cute mini of the Rachel's Plan B body polish. And you guys know, I'm about that Rachel's Plan B life. Her body oil, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, I have it here. Let's see. 
It's almost completely gone. Ah, this is one I would totally repurchase. I'm just gonna focus on using up some other stuff first. This body scrub is divine. It is divine. If you guys know I like to shred my skin off, peel like a snake, whatever. This is emulsified in quite a bit of oil. So it's a bit more moisturizing, but does not leave a film on the skin. Her price point is fantastic. Her products are fantastic. She's an awesome, awesome lady. And the smell is one of my favorite smells ever. I think it's like creamsicles and like vanilla. I love it. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. And then to go with that, I cannot deny that I am so impressed with the We Shave shaving oil. I've been loving it. It lasts a really, really long time. Uh, you know, if I only use that much and I have to shave as much as I do, that we're in the clear. I hate the We Shave Charlotte razor. If you have any hair on your legs, that's not going to be a functional product for you. I'm really upset that I spent my money on that, honestly, because I threw out the box thinking it was gonna be the best thing ever. But um, the oil though, you could buy them separately. The oil is pricey, but lasts forever and is gorgeous. If you get irritated legs, I think that would be really nice for you. Um, it doesn't like, my, it's not like my irritation is cured, but it helps you get like a really nice, smooth, slick shave. And then the final product I'm gonna mention today, sorry, I'm going a million miles a minute. I just have so much products in front of my face and I wanna say enough about them to you guys. All right, you guys, so that is it. I really hope you loved my spring edit. I wanted to bring you guys a big doozy now that we are in March. I know that took forever in a day, but I covered all the bases. I don't think I could have gone any, any farther. So if you want to know any other information on these products, obviously leave me a comment down below, email me. I was trying to keep it short and sweet here. Just know that these are all approved by me. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Green Bunny Video if you would like, and I will see you guys Wednesday. Bye.